You've reached the end of the virtual reality simulation. We know it can be difficult to go through this training. The issues are real, and it happens to a lot of us. There is no shame in reaching out in response to this training. The Counseling Center is a confidential resource for Tennessee Tech students, and they also have a 24-7 hotline you can always call. Although the simulation ends here, the story does not end here for survivors. Sexual and domestic violence, including stalking, are crimes that happen at epidemic rates. These crimes are all about power and control, and healing after experiencing trauma can be a process. Often survivors have a hard time renewing a sense of normalcy, and it can be really hard to confide in others about what happened. When you learn that someone was sexually assaulted, abused, or stalked, your, your response makes a huge difference. Saying something like, I'm sorry that this happened, and I'm really glad you felt comfortable to tell me. I'm here for you. Let's the survivor know that you're not blaming them. It might help them to not blame themselves, as a lot of survivors do. It is best not to ask a bunch of questions. It may sound judgmental or be too overwhelming. It is really important for the person to know that this was not their fault. Someone else made a choice to hurt them, and the blame is entirely on the perpetrator. Listen supportively and connect the person to resources, such as the Counseling Center or a national hotline. In addition to confidential resources aimed at helping people heal, survivors have law enforcement options as well. Students and staff at university can report their experiences on campus to their Title IX coordinator. The Title IX coordinator may do an investigation of the allegation. If the perpetrator violated campus policy, potential consequences would be determined by university officials. Survivors can also report their experiences to the police, which then will open up a criminal investigation. Evidence will be gathered and presented to a prosecuting attorney, who then would decide if the state would press charges against the persecutor. At the end of the day, it is up to the survivor to decide who they want to tell, if anyone, about their experience. And it's on all of us to create a campus culture that is supportive and safe for people to come forward if they've been sexually assaulted, abused, or stalked. It's on all of us to watch out for one another. To speak up when someone is being mistreated. To call each other out if we cross the line. To support survivors.